Hey everybody, Professor Steins here, and today we're going to kind of talk about DocPad. Uh, it's a node-based application that's going to kind of help us make, hopefully, a, a better website, um, give us a lot of new, uh, a lot of abilities, and hopefully this video I can kind of walk you through a little bit on how to get started and how to use it. So anyway, this is DocPad.org. Uh, you can find it by searching for it. I'm going to kind of start off by talking about the install. Uh, one thing that's going to need it's going to be it's going to need Node. So I'm going to kind of start by creating a folder out here on my desktop. I'm going to call it KMP uh, for Keith McDonald Plumbing. It's a website that we've kind of been talking about. Uh, when I'm at this window, I'm going to type in CMD, and this is going to pull up the terminal CMD, uh, the command line for Windows. So now I have kind of a command line that I can work on this website for. Um, Install is going to tell you that you need to have Node, and that's uh, Node.js .org. So I would pull down this this version and install it. You might need to restart your computer. Uh, once you get that installed, you should be able to type something in like Node-V, and that will kind of give you a Node version, or NPM-V for the Node Packet Manager. Uh, and this one will kind of throw a version out for it as well. Uh, another good command to run here might be npm ls uh, dash g dash depth equals zero. Uh, what this is going to do, this is going to kind of pull up all the packages from Node that we have installed. So I'm going to go ahead and run this, and it might take uh, it might take a minute to run. So, uh, but once you have that installed. I should be able to come to just about here uh, to have Node Packet Manager already kind of installed here. I don't actually have the, uh, the DocPad package installed, so I might want to do that. Just take this guy here and um, kind of paste it in. npm install dash g at 6.9. Uh, probably wouldn't necessarily have to use that, could use the most recent version. And then uh, you could also run the dash v command to see which one it is. A uh, pseudo command would probably be what's needed in Linux. So let's let this guy run. Uh, probably want to actually go by exactly what's in it. I'm just going to right click to do that. So this guy might take a minute as well. Let's go ahead and kind of just jump through some of the beginning pages here. Uh, this is kind of the structure, defines, uh, render static file. It's not actually going to come out that way at first, but it kind of describes uh, what each of the folders do. Hopefully we can put that into practice here in, in a minute if, uh, if doc DocPad doesn't take too long to install. It looks like it's running pretty good over here, though. Cool. So let's take a look at uh, the beginner guide. Should get us started. So I've already made a directory, and I called it KMP, and I'm kind of sitting there in both places. This is the folder itself, and here is the, I'm at the command line for my computer in the KMP website on my desktop. So I've made my directory. I've CD'd into it. Uh, so I need to run these two commands, one to init it and one to actually run it. So let's start with the docpad init and see what happens. And it's going to ask me if uh, we read the terms and conditions and yeah, that's fine. And no, don't, don't want your news newsletter. So uh, if you can kind of see the folder back here in the background, it is kind of starting to pull in some files, pull in some structure here. There's a couple files here. So this might take a this might take a minute to run. So this is kind of explaining it. Uh, init command is going to get it up and running. Run command is actually going to run it. Once we do that, we'll, we can browse to this link on our computer and we should be able to see it. And control C is a way to kind of stop it when we're done working on it. So uh, the uh, it's also going to come with some default folders. It's, uh, it's suggesting here that we remove 
two folders and create two other folders instead. And we'll have to add a home, po a home, home page at some point. So let's look in source folder. Uh, this is still running in the background, but it's probably just kind of filling up node fo node modules folder somehow. Although it looks like it might be kind of frozen on something. Hmm. No, I'll let it go. Let's see. Let's take a source. Uh, we do have the documents. We do have files rather than render and static. So let's take those two out. Uh, it's documents and files. Delete those. And we'll create two other ones instead with a different name. Render and static. And then we'll want to put a home page in there. And that's going to be at this path in the render folder. So let's do that. Create a new text file, index.html. And go ahead and try to open that up in Notepad. And hopefully we can throw some, get some HTML kind of started in here. Uh, doc type HTML, HTML. <laughs> I'm just kind of throwing some markup in here. And it still says it's taken a while to run. Man, that thing's taking forever. I wonder how much of a website I can <laughs> uh, get built by the time it runs, huh? Uh, one of the neat things, too, is Node can actually speed up a lot of this time, too. If you kind of already know that you're going to have a bulleted list, um, really kind of help speed that up. I mean, I haven't actually kind of got to that part yet. I'm really just kind of typing with my own hands on the keyboard here. Man, uh, I end up kind of getting a lot here done. <laughs> a little ipsum. I'm just trying to get some stuff out of the page and throw it in there. So if I run that in Chrome, uh, not a lot there. Kind of using from the file system. Really, this guy, this guy needs to needs to speed up. And if I knew my pause button on my recorder, I'd probably try to use that right about now. Let's see. I don't know if I can find it without stopping the recording. <laughs> 